Welcome to the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck with me, Frank Baltiers, and I'm standing inside my food truck, which is rolling burritos. As you can see behind me, there is a hood, which is part of the question that we're gonna be talking about today. I show you how to build food trucks from scratch, from A to Z, when it comes to the construction side. I believe everybody should be able to do a little bit of uh, work on their food truck if you're out there mobily, and that way you don't have to call everybody all the time to come fix like a small issue that you have you can get up and running right away immediately maybe you don't want to do the whole food truck from scratch but it's good info to have in case you want to fix something as i mentioned or you want to just move some stuff around me and rolling burritos as you can see right here i have uh a grid i have a uh, four burner and i have a griddle however for this year coming up i want to change it to churros and i've mentioned this a couple of my stories so uh, hopefully, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys can follow along. If you've been a fellow subscriber, you've seen Rolling Burritos and uh, probably like four or five trailers that I've built. And hopefully, it's helped you out because I see it in the comment section. Again, that is the best way to reach me is through the comments section. And that way, I answer each and every one of your questions personally. And today, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be answering some questions when it comes to the food truck build. One of them, and they, a lot of these questions come pretty much the same question asked in a different way. And one of them was like right behind me that you see right here, this hood. So I bought my hood from Hood Mart. This is my first food truck that I ever built. I didn't even film this one because I was kind of like, it was the guinea pig and it's still up and running. So that tells me after almost three years, that construction was, was worth it because this thing moves, rattles, moves all over the place and it's still in one piece. So I'll take it. But I looked up at Hood Mart's website because they've changed quite a bit and when I bought my hood, this is a six foot hood. Now I buy seven foot hoods because it gives you a little bit of extra space because you want to leave about six inches on the right, six inches on the left for clearance from the fire department. That's what they asked for me. I'm in the DuPage County Health Department, which is in the great state of Illinois. Um, so if you're out here, make sure you look for me. Um, and now that I looked at their website on Hoodmart, it says that there's another option. It's called Integrated Food Truck Hood. I really don't know how to install it. I cannot help you guys on how to install it. I just know that there's another option because somebody asked me, what's the model number of what you have? And hopefully, let me see if I can get to it. So this is what I have right here. You guys can see that this, I don't even think you guys can probably see it. So this is a six foot hood from Hood Mart. It's uh, rated by the NFPA and NSF rated and all that fun stuff that they, that they want. Um, so it passes all my health inspections of every uh, equipment that they want in the food truck or the food trailer. I usually build food trailers, I don't build food trucks, but they're pretty much the same thing when it comes to construction, not really too much of a difference. Um, this one has like little mushroom top uh, on top and I've shown a couple of videos on this video series on how I install this hood from scratch. Uh, I use zip walls to be able to hold it and then that way it gets attached to the ceiling and it's nice as you can see and snug on there. I do have to clean it a little bit. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of uh, of dirt back here on the stainless steel which is part of the second question is they ask me where do you get your stainless steel and that question unfortunately you're not gonna like my answer because if, even if I told you there's a viewer that asked where'd you buy the stainless steel actually many people ask me uh, if I told you where I bought it it doesn't really matter because you cannot get those prices because they do not exist and the reason they don't exist is because I bought them in 2019 I bought about 20 sheets in 2019 so I got them at a great price. I got them about a $65 a sheet. Right now, they're, I know they're over $400 a sheet. So um, unfortunately, even if I told you, it really wouldn't matter because the ones that I bought were dented in the corner. So in, in, uh, they, were, they were using them for an old Dunkin' Donuts project is what they told me. And the builder that was building them, he, they wanted full, nice sheets. And what I did is I just cut off the end. I cut about a foot off each end of the stainless steel. So for me, it worked out great. For the builder, it worked out great because he didn't uh, have to throw them away and he needed the full pieces. I don't know why, but that's exactly what they needed. And obviously um, the customer paid for that. So it is it is what it is. So even if I told you, I'm sorry, but uh, they do not have the price, but I'll give you the answer anyways. It's all real steel, A-L-R-O. No, is it all real steel? No, I'm lying. Rocco Steel, R-O-C-O. -O. Rocco Steel in the city of Lombard or Addison. That's where I found them. You can give them a call if you want. That's not a problem, but I'm sure that they cannot give you a price of $65 a sheet anymore. So there's that second question that I answered. So question number one is what model number do you have on your hood? This is not the integrated 
uh, uh, hood. This is the one that has a little mushroom top on top and it's six foot. This one's a six footer. I do not buy it with the fire suppression system. I do install the fire suppression system as you can see right there, the little nozzles. And there it is right there on that side. I do have it installed by a third party. However, I do not install fire suppression systems because you need a special, special license for that. So I do not install those unfortunately, but I do not buy it with the fire suppression system either from Hoodmark because you do have that option to buy it with the fire suppression system. So it's up to you, whichever one you pick. Uh, my recommendation would be just buy a regular mushroom top one, not the integrated because I show you how to build, how to install it, the regular kind. So if, but if you want the integrated, I'm not your guy to help you install that because I really don't know anything about it. So unfortunately in that one, I'm no good to you. But if you do buy the mushroom style, that on the videos, I show you exactly how to do it. And then you install the fire suppression system after. I do not buy it from Hoodmark, just so we know and we're clear. All right, last question is this, because somebody asked, and where's the stupid tape measure? I had the tape measure right here it is. So somebody asked this question is, how much do I cut? As you can see here, this is my cooking side on here. And these legs are actually bigger than what it is. So let me show you. So right here on this side, you guys can see, don't mind my food truck, it's a little dirty, I'm not open for the season yet. Food truck season is about to open up, just so you guys know, we're about mid-March here in uh, the great state of Illinois again, I say that. But if you see here, hypothetically, a leg measures about 34 inches. That's how much this leg measures. And what I do is I cut them, like you see here on this side. So I cut them to fit my cooking equipment right here, because they do not make little shorties of legs. So right here, if I pick up my mat right here, I'm gonna show you how much this one measures and then you guys can do the math on there. So as you can see from factory, they come at 34 inches. This one measures about 25 inches. So I cut about nine inches off. That way I have good cooking clearance right here because you don't wanna be cooking up here. Hopefully you guys see me I'm trying to adjust this. Sorry about that. I don't have anybody to record me today. So right here, you wanna make sure that all this cooking equipment is about waist high. You can see my waist is right here. So you wanna keep it about waist high. That way you have nice cooking. You guys can do all your fun stuff there. So hopefully that helps you out on those three questions. One of them is what kind of hood did I buy? Do not buy the integrated because I cannot show you how to do it, but I can show you how to do the mushroom style. Um, the other one was stainless steel. Where did I buy it from? This is 304 mil finish. And like I said, you can call Rocco Steel if you want. That's not a problem. But the chances of them having more are very slim, but you never know. It's worth the, it's worth the phone call, definitely worth the phone call. Or when you call metal suppliers near you, depending on where you live, ask them, do you guys have any damaged sheets? That, that could help you out because they might have some. Or else just call uh, any type of metal distributor around you, 304 mil finish is a stainless steel that I have. That gives it almost like a little grainy look. So that's real nice to have. And then the third question was, how much did I cut off the legs on the cooking equipment side? That's right here, these little legs, because these are just regular tables. I cut about nine inches off. So I'm 34 to 25 is what I use. So hopefully that helps you out on the three questions that I have on the weekly Q&A, how to build your food truck. I'm Frank Baltieres, where I show you how to build food trucks from scratch. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And we'll see you on the next one.